What's going on guys? Professor Chaos here, and welcome back to the interior design series. We just finished with the kitchen episode, so now we will move on to the living room slash lounge episode, and let's just get started. And here, this is kind of the basic setup that I, I do most often, which I should switch up, so I've got a bunch more designs to move on to, but we'll start with the most basic. Here, um, the couches are just wool blocks surrounding some half blocks, and that makes just kind of a modern, flattish couch. And then you've got a coffee table here with a TV. This TV texture is part of the custom textures in my texture pack. And then um, the speakers as well. These are one by one. This is a two by four painting. And um, download link in the description. Um, but I put some wool blocks behind that to back that up. And then just some black, not black, <laughs> glass and bookshelves underneath um, to make kind of a little stand for the TV. Um, there's lamps in the corner with pistons, glowstone, and fence. And that's basically the the gist of this room. The, the floor is cobblestone, 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 <laughs> cobblestone wood for the walls and light gray wool for the ceiling. No um, lights in the ceiling because we have so many lamps. That's one cool thing about lamps is you don't have to worry about putting lights in the ceiling anywhere. Um, but over here we've got a much smaller room. So in case you don't have too much room, you can use something like this. And you can easily switch this bookshelf, which is stairs and half blocks and some bookshelves. You can easily switch this out for a small TV, like a 1x2 TV. Um, but if we go over here, we've got stairs surrounded by some logs. And then some signs are on the side of these, just for the basic couch look. Um, if you don't have much space, you can't really fit in a fat couch like that. So I'd, I'd recommend using something small like this. And then just, again, those lamps, and that's this room. The sandstone floor, some wood around the bottom edge, and white wool and wood on top. So to the next room, we are using that same amazing floor design that I used in the bedrooms. Um, oh yeah, so the, the floor, if you haven't seen the other episode, is pine wood, oak wood, and birch wood in a cool little pattern. Um, but we have smooth sandstone, <laughs> if I can use my words, smooth sandstone for the walls and sandstone for the ceiling with this, I'm, I'm not too sure I like it just because of the weird lighting glitches, but a little border of half blocks, wood half blocks around the top edge kind of makes an interesting look. But um, over here is another couch design. That's kind of the basis for this entire little episode is couch designs because you want cool couches in your living room. So here we've got uh, pine wood with these stairs are upside down facing each other and then just some green wool behind. I thought that looked pretty good. And then just a little lamp in the corner. Um, and again, another little coffee table using just planks. And then over here is an interesting bookshelf design from, um, I believe it's MCF server or something like that. Um, they have, they've got some good designs. You can go check them out if you want. But um, I thought this was a nice modern bookshelf. Um, in the wall are bookshelves with stairs making this cool little bookshelf design. And then uh, birch wood with leaves above to make a little shrub and signs surrounding those um, birch logs. Uh, there's a little carpet here just using green wool. And that is behind the desk. This is... this. Doesn't look quite as good as the half block desk, but um, if you have this whole floor being half blocks, this makes it this look a little bit better. But this is just stairs, upside down stairs, some half blocks, and then more half blocks. And then this um, chair is a half block with some signs on the side and another one of our custom paintings on the back. Makes it look awesome. So yeah, that's this little living room. Um, Thought that was a cool little design. Over here, we've got a half block room. So if we step up inside, you've got pine wood for the floor, um, sandstone for the wall, and white wool for the ceiling. But um, I put the TV inside the wall. I didn't put a painting here because you can just use something dark. Like this is, I think, bedrock in the texture pack I use. And then there's some wood down here with some bookshelves. So you put like your movies and stuff there. 
but a wood, normal wood coffee table with, these are cool couches. So under here, you can put stairs. So the stairs are facing out and then half block and then another stair on top. So you see that stair, stair, and then the half block here. And that just makes a cool little lip for the couch. And then the couch is just wool blocks. And then this, this design's a lot softer. Um, it looks more inviting to sit on because <laughs> it's all wool rather than using planks or stone for the seating area. But yeah, I just put two couches here using the same exact design. These are half, uh, not half bricks, stone brick. And then that just completes this little TV area. But I thought this would be a nice little design for if you have a hallway going, or not necessarily a hallway, but you've got a door on the other side of the room. So you've got your little TV area, but you can go behind to another area. So this would be just some doorway. Um, so I put some tables on the back of the couch because the couch looked a little bit weird bare. So I put a little table here using upside down stairs and half blocks. Oh, actually, that's a normal stair with half blocks on top. Excuse me, because this is a half block floor. Um, and same thing on this side underneath the window. And then um, I used a cauldron with water. I used that cool little plant design from the bedroom designs one. Um, so a little leaf block on top of a fence makes a cool little shrub. <laughs> I, I really like that. I, I want to use that a lot more because it looks good. Um, so if I ever have a half block room, I'm going to use that. Over here, we have... So the floor is stone and cobblestone half slabs. This is another half block room. And I put a fireplace in this one. So this is just brick. And then there's a stair block there. And then it just goes up. And I... I had to add this weird little thing on the top. So the ceiling, I used pine wood for the outside edge, oak wood for the middle, and then some half block um, stone half blocks for the top and so that the wood wouldn't burn down. <laughs> it's Fire has kind of an interesting area of effect. You have to make sure no wood is in that burn radius. So yeah, I had to do that um, just so the roof wouldn't burn down but I put the fire down one so that you can just see the top of the fire otherwise it would just be full of flames and then some iron in front iron bars and that makes the fireplace and then some of course half blocks around the well actually these are full blocks since the block floor is half blocks but you get the you get this idea the half blocks around make a little hearth and then um, the couches these are kind of a variation of the the normal wool block ones, except in a half block floor, you can use wood or stone um, half blocks and make this look almost exactly the same, but you add a little backing to the top um, and it just makes it look a little bit more interesting than just flat. And then this coffee table has some glowstone and glass on top of it. Make that look a little bit more interesting as well. And that makes just a cozy little area for a living room um over here <laughs> uh don't laugh I, I made another girl's room except this one has a huge ceiling because a lot of living rooms actually have really tall ceilings but i made a little heart window sorry guys this is really cheesy i'm yeah i'm sorry <laughs> but um i use red wood for the floor um that is magenta not pink this is pink in my texture pack. I, I want to kind of change the colors a little bit because the pink doesn't really go with the magenta very well. Um, anyway, um, I brought out the pink into this wall and then the purple from above down into that wall. Weird little design. <laughs> Don't even ask. It was, it was a last ditch effort for this um, living room area. Um, but I used sandstone for the coffee table and then sandstone as well on this couch another design. Um, so this is a corner couch. Uh, it ends right here without an armrest and over here using a stair for the armrest. And then I found that if you put the same um, block type behind this stair block, it brings it together better than if you had just a wool block there. And that completes that little couch. And then this TV design using stairs and then just some half blocks on the side uh, makes a little like stand for the TV. I did put some wool blocks behind there. And then some floor lamps. And that's this living room. <laughs> um, 
had some interesting designs. There are lots more designs that I didn't use, but I'll probably touch on those in later videos of just furniture. So I'll do like a couch episode where I cover every single couch. But these are mainly for an area rather than just one piece of furniture. So if you have an area like this, you can do something like this rather than use just one piece of furniture and figure out yourself. But anyway, going off on a tangent. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from this um, living room episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, hopefully you enjoyed and learned something. And I will see you in the next interior design video.